yes, hand gunners. Today you'll get a quick and easy guide on how I painted up these Warmaster Empire hand gunners in a Hockland theme, the classic green and red. These are the hand gunners I'm gonna paint up. They are from Excellent Miniatures. Down in the info box below I'll post the uh, names of the colors used for this tutorial. I start off with the color Blood Angels Red, which is a red contrast paint. I pretty much just try to do half and half, 50% red and 50% green, and just change it up from unit to unit so it doesn't look like they are too similar. Then I began painting with uh, the green color, which is uh, also a contrast called Orc Flash. These colors do pretty fine on their own, in my opinion, but if you want to like up your game even more, you can use Warbo Screen to highlight the Orc Flash and uh, Scarlet Red to highlight the uh, red contrast, but in slash red. Then I had to start painting up the muskets and small accessories of the miniature and for that I used dried bark. For the skin I pretty much just started with Guardian Flesh Tone and work my way from there. I could start with Buckman's Glow, but since these miniatures are so small, it doesn't really make that much sense to me. And I had to paint up the beard and hair, and it's pretty much the same deal with the red and green. I want to mix it up a bit so they all don't have the same color hair, and I think for these models, I might have used Scrack Brown, but you can pretty much use Mornfang Brown or any variety of, of brown really. Now I have to start painting up the metal parts and the first metal color I'm going to use is uh, Gun Metal from Army Painter. To make it even simpler you can actually just paint the whole, you know, all the parts that needs to be metal in the same color, but I just like to mix it up some parts in silver, some parts in copper and so on, but that's totally up to you. The third color on my Hawkland theme I choose uh, black and to put the color into these models I use black on like their belts and like small places where it makes sense. You could also use uh, the color on their feathers or whatever makes sense for you. For the black color I choose to use uh, a color I'm really really fond of, uh, which is uh, the contrast paint, Black Templar. You can pretty much use any black you want, but this is just so simple to work with. These models have like tiny tiny bits of leather and for that I use Doomble Brown. Then we come to the second metal color and I use this on the small ammo shells and powder bag and so on and for this I use rough iron from Army Painter. Now it's one of my absolute favorite things to do on the model and that's shading. For the cloth parts and leather parts and you know hair and so on, I use Acre Third Shade. And for the metal parts, I use Null Noy. And now we come to the highlighting part. As I said earlier in the video, if you want, you can highlight both the green, the red, I mean, pretty much all parts of this mini, but because it's so small, uh, I choose to just highlight the metal parts to make it pop a bit more. So for the silver parts, I highlight with plate mail metal from Army Painter and for the bronze part I try to highlight with Sakurax bronze from Citadel. This is a view of how they look in the end. I still need some work on the bases at this picture but yeah that's pretty much the colors they're going to have. 
I hope you enjoyed watching the video and uh, see you in the next one.